How's it going? Marcus from Roman Reel here. So today we're going to be talking about how to properly handle a fish. So I see a lot of times on social media that nobody's in the right time, the right place. They're always trying to, to get that, that picture of the fish. Um, first of all, the, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you get yourself a quality net. Uh, this one's made by Fish Pond. Uh, this one will run you about 150, 160 bucks. Uh, you can go down to your local Cabela's. You can pick yourself up a nice wooden net with uh, the proper type of net. Like you see this clear plastic one here. So this one is made to where it doesn't take the slime off of the fish. So the slime is the first barrier of the fish's immune system that helps keep microbes out of it. You'll see a lot of times where people sit there and they'll they'll use gloves and they'll handle the fish and that takes a lot of the slime off there's other types of nets that are kind of a black mesh your flies get tangled in them they don't help the fish with the slime everything like that so what you're wanting to do is you want to make sure first and foremost that your fish is your main priority so don't bank it don't set it up on the bank and take a picture next to your fishing pole uh, to get measurements first and foremost the fish is the first priority um, because we all want to sustain the fisheries we all want to come back and catch these monsters uh, when you release them they get bigger so first step again your net second step always wet your hands you can either tap the bottom of your net like this that'll get your hands wet or just dip them in the water so again that helps with keeping the slime on the fish for its immune system. I see a lot of people wearing gloves. I see a lot of people um, that that go, those gloves will take the, the slime off as well. And again, we want to keep this fish healthy. So again, we don't want to hold it by the neck. We don't want to hold it by the gills. It's not a bass. We're not looking to lip it as well. So first step we want to do is make sure that we get a hold of the tail. Okay, and then slide your hand underneath and support the belly. So all we wanna do is get a nice picture with it like this and then drop it back in the net. Make sure it's got a nice drink, okay? So we don't wanna hold it by the neck. We don't wanna choke it. We don't wanna stick our fingers in its gills. We, it's not, again, it's not a bass. We don't wanna lip it, okay? I see a lot of people doing that kind of stuff. And again, first and foremost, our main priority is this fish here after we're done catching it make sure we've got it and then we try and revive it to where it can swim off on its own we don't want to fight it too much and it slips off out into the abyss to be caught another day and this is another example of what to do thanks for watching this is marcus from roman reel appreciate it